Chilanga Mulilo, better known as Chilanga Mulilo, which literally translates to showing of the fire. Now, Chilanga Mulilo is a ceremony that happens before a couple weds. Although it has spread throughout the country, it's primarily a tradition practiced by the Bemba-speaking people of Zambia. So basically, what happens at Echilanga Mlilo is the bride-to-be's family prepares food and beverages to deliver to the groom and his groomsmen. This is to introduce him to the food he's likely to enjoy in his new home at the company of his wife. It also serves as an open invitation to dine with the bride's family during courtship. Because traditionally, the groom is forbidden from eating in the bride's parents' or guardian's home before this symbolic gesture is made. Now, let's talk a little bit about the actual ceremony itself. As you can see, there's a lady that's putting a loincloth on the floor. Now, that symbolizes money. Money has to be put on that cloth and it has to be enough money or at least it has to look good for them to enter. Otherwise, they will stand outside with those pots on their heads. You can see people are now putting. Otherwise, they will stand outside with those pots on their heads and the food and they will not enter until some cash d is dropped. <laughs> and depending on who's leading the pack, some might be there like, mm -mm. but anywho, it's not a ripoff. But if you ask me privately, I might tell you something else. Anyways, that's the whole idea. For them to enter the gate, something has to be put. When they reach the door, it'll happen again before they open the food, so on and so forth. So this is just the beginning of the video. As you watch further, you will see that is what will happen. But if you know nothing about this part of Zambian culture, please like, comment, share, subscribe and enjoy so this is a second waiting point of money dropping at the door and then we are in yeah this part is the exciting part like this is where the show begins i think by this point the groom is probably like Damn, I don't know what happens in their heads or their feet or their... Oh, you guys, I don't know. I... Uh, it's important for me to mention that Chilangam Lilo has two sides the groom side and the bride side. The groom side is the presentation of the food and beverages, the bride side is the preparation of the food. Both of these events happen on the same day, but the bride side has a whole different scenario happening. Let's have a look. Uh, first of all, I do not hold credit to any of these pictures. I just got them off of Google and one or two from Facebook. So you can do that if you want to see Mo. So apparently this practice teaches you how to have endurance. Yes, endurance in a marriage. And that is someone's head in a pot near fire. You're seeing that right. Anywho, I don't know what they teach the men. If they teach them anything at all about 
endurance or anything of a sort. But anyways. <laughs> Now, what the lady is doing here is called ukukumkula, which I believe a lot of African cultures quite have it. You know, in Nigeria, they'll probably semi bow down or lie down and be like, Igwe. Guys, I need to visit Nigeria. Yo. Anyways, next up is the actual starting to give of the food. But before that, a package is presented to the mother of the groom, and this is what is happening here because guys you come for the groom you have to appreciate mommy mommy has done the work also yabo that's really the, the idea and then everything else will start coming oh before the groom they give the groom's rep i don't know how to say it in english <laughs> to explain it properly <laughs> Yo, guys, but yeah, after mommy, the groom's rep, and then the food presentation to the groom. But first, you start with the big one, you know, like, yeah, we're here, we're starting, this is it. And then you kunkula again. It's a traditional way of saying thank you, we are grateful. Like I mentioned, a couple of African cultures do have it, just maybe in different forms, but yes okay now the first big meal is about to be unwrapped and presented so you can see a little cash money is still flying around because now the big deal is here however the change in this process because ideally these meals are supposed to be open by mouth but they use their hands because of the whole corona situation going around if you pay attention to the picture that I shared earlier on from the Chilangam Lilo, the girl's side, no hands were shown, everything was by mouth. That's what's supposed to happen here as well when they unravel or un open the first one. I'll try and set a picture. That didn't happen. So they just used their hands and went on. And now this is the actual showing and presentation of each and every every part of meal here by the way all the songs they're singing have some form of meaning or translation in relation to the event like the one they're singing particularly now they're saying which translates to this is what we eat this is some of what we eat but anyways the foods both exotic and familiar are presented one by one and they're explained to the groom not that he doesn't know what the foods are per se but the occasion itself doesn't just showcase the bride's menu or what the groom will eat but it also symbolizes that the groom is now pretty much responsible for the welfare of the bride from then on he can assume the responsibilities of taking care of her and her financial needs the bride is also at a stage where she's allowed to cook and do laundry for the groom but tradition So the presentation of beverages pretty much marks the end of the food presentation. It's not the end of the whole program, so stick around, but the food presentation. And then after this, you the groom is given a basket, 
<laughs> basket of a fruit basket because guys you can't just eat 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 it you gotta have healthy stuff you know your fruits and in those meals the vegetables basically the bride's family is telling you we'll take care of your son he'll be fine he'll be healthy he'll be eating fruits drinks if he takes alcohol yeah boy, it's there and this is the fruit ba- i think the fruit basket is presented by a sibling or a cousin i am not sure but if any of you knows for a fact <laughs> please do let me know but i think that's it and if i'm wrong i stand corrected Next up is some TLC of the groom's hands, washing of the hands. Now this particular practice is officially inviting him to the table, you know. We've cooked the food, we've brought the food, we've presented it, you got your drinks. Now it's time for you to come and dine with us. So you wash his hands so that, you know, he can just go and straight get into it. That is basically what happens. That is basically why this happens, which is quite nice, you know. Let me also quickly mention Amadeveto. Often people confuse these two ceremonies. As I mentioned at the beginning, Chilangamlilo is a ceremony that happens before a couple weds, while Amadeveto is a ceremony for a couple who are already married. Okay? Amadeveto is basically an acknowledgement by the bride's family, or rather at this point, the wife's family, that the groom is capable of looking after his wife well. It's an appreciation and more blessing for you know about a marriage is just keep on doing what you're doing anywho as you can tell by these dancing ladies who are again ukukunkula it's the end of the inside program now let's get to the food so after the food is presented inside it's brought outside and it's just laid out for everybody to eat guys you know when you go to Chilangamlilo, you need to go on an empty stomach. <laughs> because. Because. Anyways. Let me get back to you. Welcome to part three of the ceremony. Anyways, now remember I mentioned earlier on that the ceremony also symbolizes that the groom is pretty much officially responsible for the welfare of the bride. So this is also shown or rather presented in the meals. Now everything that is cooked and brought is not all sweet and spicy and tasty. Some of them are cooked so plainly, no spices, no salt, no oil nothing it's just as plain as it's come this is to show the groom that okay you gotta do your part you gotta make sure there's food in the house for your madame to cook tradition some will say well he can cook too but anyways you got to make sure that things are all right at home so you'll be given let's say beans that is dry with nothing 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 and then you have that beans that has you know all those nice 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 concoctions inside and you're like hmm i like this and i don't want to eat that in my house so i gotta do my part i gotta hustle and make sure there is food that are ingredients for these meals to be prepared so the idea is not just oh you eat these meals in your house and they'll just drop from heaven no you know you have a part to play 
for these meals to actually come about that is the idea so you'll be looking at some of these things i know some of you may not know them but some of you do know you'll be like oh uh, that is the purpose otherwise guys i liked tangam lilos well i like the food part i like this one <laughs> Now this is the last of it but the lady with the bow is pretty much just collecting monies from the groom's side has again a token of appreciation for the bride's family bringing the stuff so it's just a dash of thank you